Nakoto Katoa. Welcome you all to this session titled Being Culturally Competent in Bicultural Aotearoa. Our speakers um, have prepared two to three concepts um, in relation to our Maori values and worldview. I think when we talk about cultural convergence, we're talking about how are we, how, how are we the same? Because we all know where we're different, you know, we, we have lots of differences as well, and I think we need to celebrate those, those differences and, and, and talk about them. But actually we've got a lot in common as well. We thought we'd start here. The word whānau, when we talk about whānau, it doesn't have to just be your, your bloodline. Okay, whakapapa is, is a really, really important part of Māori culture, but whānau extends beyond just the sort of the nuclear family. It's not mum, dad, brother, sister and a couple of cousins, it's, it's the community. And, and so whānau forms the foundation of the next kupu, the next word, which is whanaungatanga. And what I wanted to talk about, Matt, and I'm interested to see if there's any cultural convergence, um, is this concept of whanaungatanga. Okay? So whanaungatanga really is a lot of Māori tikanga, we call them, protocols, customs, are set up to foster whanaungatanga. And whanaungatanga is really creating that sense of belonging, the sense of whanau. So I'm, I'm interested to know, from your point of view, whanaungatanga, is that something that's present in your culture? <clears throat> totally. And first I want to talk about, I want to set the frame personally for me. Thank yep. you for that, Anton, because you don't just get straight to convergence before you talk about, if there's convergence, there's divergence. There are many different tribes and groups. And so the first piece of convergence I want to talk about, I just wanted to set the scene because there's been a lot of divergence. And just to rush straight to convergence without acknowledging the divergence, yeah? A lot of our Māori tikanga, our protocols, are set up to have that conversation first. I want to get close to you. I want to build whanaungatanga before we get to the business. I appreciate the business part's important, but before we get to that, can we, can we try and build some connectivity? So you can't have a courageous conversation about how we're different or similar without first building some trust. Mm -hmm. What's happening here is we're becoming culturally competent. This is whaka whanaungatanga, is yeah. it not? It is. This is about connecting more deeply than a business card. This is about who you are, who you are, who I am. My story, your story. Our story emerges in the middle. So once you understand whanaungatanga and whanau, you get it right for Arabs. And you get it right for a lot of the other diverse groups that come to New Zealand. We're probably on the same team. We're probably trying to do the same thing for each other. And so long as we can move forward with that, and it's like, I want to create... A mana my version of Manaakitanga is making sure that you have an opportunity to be yourself, to celebrate your culture and who you are. But all I ask in return is that you do the same for me. And if we can move forward with that idea in mind, I think we'll just go from strength to strength. 